All right, we're out here at the 1990 Ford F-150, and uh, we're going to take the doors off and put it on my flatbed. As you can see, I've already stolen the tires off of this one and swapped them over. Now it's time to do the doors, and I'll show you how to do these passenger doors first because they're pretty easy. All you have to do is take this kick panel off, and you'll find uh, a bunch of wires that come down from the door here. And you can access them after you remove the kick panel. And all you have to do is uh, unplug them, and they'll they'll be able to fit through this hole. So once I unplug those, we'll go ahead and get some uh, jack stands under here to hold the door up, and we'll pull it off. All right, I've got the uh, wires disconnected from the inside here, and uh, I've got them pulled through. So now I'm ready to take the door off. I've got. Uh, Got it sitting on jack stands. This isn't an ideal setup, but it's just to keep the uh, the strain off of the hinges themselves. So I'll have to hold the door as I take it off. But now I can go ahead and remove these four bolts for the hinges. I'll start on the bottom and work my way up, and then uh, we can take the door off. And there we are. The door is removed. Now, if you're going to put this door back on the same truck. It would be a good idea to mark the position of uh, of the hinges so you can get the alignment right. But since I'm putting these on a different truck, it really doesn't matter. Now the driver's door on this year is pretty much the same thing. Um, you can remove the kick panel on the inside there and gain access to the plugs. And then just do the same thing as we did on the passenger side door. But I'll take you over to my 92. That's got a little bit different setup under here, and you'll you'll see that when we get in there. All right, now here's the uh, same area on the driver's side <clears throat> on a 92 Ford. And as you can see, it's quite a bit different up in here. Um, I went ahead and I took the uh, parking brake assembly down off of there to get a better look, but it doesn't look like there's any way to pull the wires through this way, get to the... Uh, connectors and take them off one of them you can reach I believe but it won't do any good because there's another one going up towards uh, the dash there and taking this bracket off to see what what else is behind it is kind of a big chore because it extends all the way over and holds the steering column in and quite a bit of the jet and dash so that would be a lot of work so what I did to get this door off was I took the panel out a panel off and uh, took apart all the all the plugs inside and the switches and everything and pulled them through the door so on these newer ones it's going to be a little harder to take the doors off um, but it can be done another thing to watch out for is if you take the hinges off this part um, that piece in there slides around now what happened to me is I took all the bolts out and of course it dropped so I had to uh, actually take a piece of wire hook onto it and pull it up through this cavity here inside there and get it aligned and wiggle it with magnets and it just it was not a fun task so I would say if you're gonna take these off be real careful and don't let that fall out uh, maybe even put some bolts back in it as you're taking it off so that it doesn't uh, doesn't fall because that's a real pain in the butt but I was looking at this I was gonna replace this hinge because the pins are wore out figured it would be easier just to steal it off the red truck and put it on this one but um, I looked at the red truck and the door latch here that, that little wheel thing there's a spring on the back of it and that's completely broken off on the other hinge so I think I might get uh, hinge pins for this side and put this hinge back in we'll see alright I've got the uh, passenger side door on and uh, it fits well, but there is a problem. It'll shut too, but I got the, the cord in there. The, there is a problem, and that is the plugins are different on the 92 through the 90. Uh, the green one here, which comes from the door, is the same. That's up here on the truck. That's the same, but we have two other connectors that are different. Now, one is for the power windows which is this one here which is a three plug 
uh, or power mirrors, excuse me. And this one obviously doesn't have power uh, mirrors, so I don't need to plug that one in. But the other one, I'm not sure what that's for yet. I got to trace back the wires and see what it goes into. But obviously, those are not going to connect together. So I'm going to have to figure that out and uh, see what we can do about it. Well, it looks like the uh, wiring is different for the power windows on this particular door. I was hoping it would just be a, a plug and play deal. <coughs> And uh, I did get the plug put in for the power windows, but as soon as I turned the key, the window just rolled down on its own, and uh, the switches don't do anything. So <laughs> apparently they're wired differently. So I'm going to have to take this panel off, take the uh, wiring out of the original door, put it in here, and also take the panel from the original door because the switches are uh, different. The plugs are different. So. I'm going to have to do that. I was hoping it would just be easy, but eh. oh well, I'll make it work. Alright, these panels are pretty easy to remove. There's the uh, screw here up in the corner, and one down here where, you, where the door, door handle is. And I'll have to pop this window switch out. You can uh, set a screwdriver in that little slot and push and it'll unlock the clip and there's one on each side and you can pull it out that way and then this whole top part will come off and then for the bottom there's just a bunch of screws along here that need to come out and this is a two-piece door panel the newer ones are all one piece but I'll pop this off and uh, we'll get to the wiring alright I've got the uh, door panel off and also took the plastic out of the way so we could see what we we're doing um, now all I gotta do is uh, unplug all these connectors here. There's not too many. There's uh, one behind the speaker here, which I've taken loose so I can get to it. And there's also one down here for the power windows. If I can, can't really reach to pull it up with one hand, but hopefully you can see that in there. It'll it'll pull up and come out when I. Uh, when I disconnect this side and I can pull those wires through. And the only other thing here that I have to unplug is uh, the power door lock actuator. And since the window's down, getting my hand down there to take it off and unplug it is going to be a real pain in the butt. So I'm going to take the easy way out and I'm just going to go ahead and cut those two wires and splice them back together because that's a lot easier than trying to mess with that. So. I'll go ahead and uh, unhook everything and pull this harness out and uh, do the same to the old door and put it back in and we'll test her out. Hopefully it'll work. Alright, I've got the uh, wiring swapped over. I've got the power window plugged in. Moment the truth. Let's see if it works. Sweet. A little slow on this side, but that's all right. Now I can go ahead and uh, put everything back and wire in the uh, power door lock actuator. Put the speaker back in, throw that new panel on, and uh, this door should be done. Well, I've got the door panel on. Um, it went on okay. There were some slight differences. There's a, a bar here that uh, the door panel gets screwed to, and it looked like it was just a little bit different than uh, the one on here, a little bit higher I think. But I did manage to put the door panel on and uh, screw it down and it fit okay so that's fine. The other thing is all the holes here for the uh, bottom piece of the door panel are different in a different spot so I'm going to put self tappers in them uh, rather than the regular screws it's just easier that way. But other than that I think we're uh, pretty much all done with this side is okay good enough for me now I get to work on the driver's side I gotta fix those hinges first well there it is I got uh, both the doors on and uh, all the door panels buttoned up and everything and it worked pretty good all the windows work they go up and down on both sides which is awesome also through these uh, big old Dumbo mirrors on it 
so I can see around the uh, around the back here. And that worked pretty good. I would say if you're gonna swap doors on your truck, I would get one from the same year because there was a lot of little crap that got in the way, made it a little harder. But they do fit. And now all I gotta do is uh, grab another fender and a hood, and well, both fenders and a hood. And she'll be looking halfway decent.